Hello and welcome to my channel, Ian's Forge. If you're if you're new to this channel, uh, welcome. And um, if you're at this stage, you're new and at this stage, um, you're gonna want to go back to the previous videos to see how we got up to this, how we got up this far, how we got this far. So what we'll be doing today is putting the handle on the knife, um, pinning it, and giving it a leather wrap, and um, giving it a polish. Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is decide how much of this I want to use. Um, I want to use the chunkiest part, the thickest part. So what I'll do, I'll just grab it in my hand. I've got regular size hands, a little bit poking out the back. And sort of um, side it. I want to cut it about sort of there ish. -ish. So I'll put out the marker pen. Whip out the marker pen and just put a mark. Maybe another one there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip ahead, I'm going to keep going until, um, you know, basically, you know, this goes all the way down. What I'm going to do as well is come in from this side as well, and hollow, hollow it out from this end as well. So I'll keep going, and um, I'll get back to you once, I've, um, once the handle goes on. Okay, so, yeah, I've got it quite far in now. Quite happy with that. I'm sure it's good in the hand. It's nothing straightish. But... Um, you can sort of look down, look down the blade. You know, lines up nicely with the handle. So I kept all the all the dust that I pulled out from inside there, or well, most of it anyway. And what I'll do is um, I will mix it with the resin. So at the end here, I'll keep it all keep roughly the same sort of colour. And plus, it will um, I think add strength to the resin as well. So I get it in there where I want it. 
I do. I mask up the blade so I don't get any um, any of the resin all over the blade. I've got some two inch stuff somewhere. I've got some two inch masking tape somewhere. No, can't bother. Probably doesn't need all this masking tape, but you know I might get it all over my fingers or whatever, and then I'll probably end up transferring it onto the blade. So. Save myself a little bit of work later, I'll just mask it up now. And plus, I should keep it masked up anyway, really, when I'm working on it, so I don't end up cutting myself. Because it has got, you know, it's kind of sharp. It's not, you know, terribly sharp. But it does have, um, it does have an edge on it. Right, okay. And I've got this here, this leather bit of boot lace. That will be wrapped down the end to act as a guard and to give it that sort of authentic look. I'll, do, I'll just um, shove that down into there. Then the, the resin will keep it in place. Yeah, it's just a regular boot lace. A five off eBay for a pair. Um, just over a metre long. What I'll do is I'm going to jizzle, in, jizzle it in from this end. I'm going to jizzle a little bit in to start with. So that's why I'm going to seal up this end. I say seal up, I mean just do the best I can if, um, so it doesn't all sort of just bleed straight out the other end. And I think that'll do. Also gonna mask up the handle. Because I don't wanna work the resin all over that as well. So that'll, that'll get done. Easier later. I don't want to be messing around for hours trying to trying to get off um, the resin. Make sure it's pushed over. Once this happens. Okay, just a regular. Uh, Two-part epoxy. We all know where this um, where this one comes from. I find this fit quite good. You know, it's um, cheap and cheerful. Does the job. is let's get this sort of pumps out the air bubbles
Right, so now that the resin has cured, you can see it's all um, nice and hard and it's you know, nicely in there. So yeah, on the masking tape stopped it all from um, leaking out all down the blade. What I'm going to do now is, um, what I'm going to do now is pin it. I'm going to put a couple of pins in. I'm going to put two, I think. I think two will be nice. I'll put one, one up here. It's all one sort of midway down. Mm. I don't know, maybe just one. I'm not sure if it'll need to. Mm, I think, think, think. No, I might just put the one actually. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll put one pin in round about there. I think that'd be quite nice. And yeah. Well, I've got this um, pin here. I believe I harvested it out of a out of a printer. It's a bit of I believe it's silver steel they use. I think it's silver steel. I'm not entirely sure. Might be, but yeah, it's good. It's a nice little diameter, and it's free. You know, I probably found the printer, so I threw it out, and I, I scavenged all the nice, nice bits out of it, and there's one of them. Might do. I'll just um, measure how much I need, and then I will cut a piece off. I actually forgot to hit the record button, but you didn't miss much. I basically just drilled a hole, a four millimeter hole through for the pin. Now all I'm gonna do is just uh, clean up the deeper, deeper where the drill exited. No, no special tools required. Just run that around in it. I'll be ready to accept this pin. No dramas. <clears throat> uh, what I want to do now is just peen this over a tiny bit. Just um just to ever stop it moving.
Alright. Messed up. Oh, this project is um, getting seriously close to um, being done. All I have to do now is just uh, wrap this, clean up the ends here. All I'm going to do is round it off a bit, and that'll be that done. You know, I could sharpen it a bit more, but I'll do another video on sharpening. Uh, maybe not. Now you know what I won't bother. Everyone knows how to sharpen. Uh, you've seen me do it a little bit in the other video. So, uh, yeah, I'll move on to the finishing this off now. Oh, it's got a tiny little bit of water though. Just scooped out of the bucket from the garden. I'm do let's pop this in there. Get some water in it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be completely saturated, I don't have to leave it in there all day long or anything like that. Oh, that water's cold. Yeah, pop that in there. I'm just going to leave that for um, a couple of minutes. Let that um, soak up a bit of that water. Shit, I just realised you probably can't see it. Ah oh dear, such a noob. And what I'll do, I'll just tuck it underneath the bundle, you know, keeping it as tight as I can, as I um, poke it under. I'll do, I'll just um, grab whatever's at hand. Not that, but it's got resin all over it. Uh, see if I'm going to use the edge of this um, straight edge. The edge of the straight edge. So, let's pull. Uh, so once this dries out, it should string can get quite nice and tight, so it won't want to sort of unravel itself. So I'm going to get enough of this underneath there, it should be, should be good. I mean if it does come undone, it's not like the end of the world or anything, it can be, it can sort of be uh, re-wrapped. Okay, so it's roughed it out, roughed off the edges, it's knocked off the edges, made it all nice and round. What I'll do, I'll finish it off with a sounding block and then, uh, then I'll go back to you.
Okay, so this is done. We are done with it. I've um, just given the handle a bit of a polish. And, um, I do, I'll just make sure it's in shot. So, here we have it. So thank you for watching everybody and thank you for being patient with the slow updates and uh, uploads. What I'll be doing is um, I'll be uploading another one shortly, another video with another project I've had on the go whilst I was waiting for um, the jewel bits to come so I can um, drill out the handle. I was waiting for the jewel bits so I started on another project. Uh, that one is actually quite quite nearly done, almost finished. So you will be getting uh, more videos shortly, hopefully, hopefully. So yeah, thank you for watching. And um, if you like what you see, if you like what you saw, um, please comment, like, and subscribe. You know, you get all the, um, updated every time I release a video, every time I upload a video, and um, you'll see more stuff like this. Um, Yeah. Thank you very much.